Hi, hello, welcome. I'm Melissa, Plants by Melissa over on Instagram. And we have an import right here in front of me. It just got delivered this morning, but I'm just now getting around to doing the unboxing. I'm so excited to dig in here and show you the plants. This came all the way from Indonesia, from Aeroid Asia. I will make sure to link their Instagram and their website down below if you want to check them out. There's some good stuff in here. This is not my first import. I did have an import experience last summer. I'm really excited to do this whole process again with an import. I just loved it so much. These did travel a very long way to get here to Savannah, Georgia. I honestly thought they came pretty quickly from the time they actually shipped and um, go through customs and everything. Airwide Asia did reach out to me to send me these plants in exchange for the video, so I did not have to pay for the plants, which I'm very fortunate for. The only thing they asked me to do was to get a import permit. Even though I ordered less than 12 plants, they still wanted me to get a permit. Just in case something happened in customs, it got held up, it ended up not arriving and being shipped back to Indonesia. The permit was free. I didn't have to pay for that. It was a little bit of a process for me to figure out how to go about getting the permit. I ended up finding a video online on YouTube that walked me through step by step. So I followed their guide. I will link that video down below in the description, as well as the website that you need to go on to in order to apply and get the import permit if you're interested. So I will have that linked down below again, as well as their website and Instagram. I also had to pay a $25 duty fee, which I believe was for the phytosanitary certificate in order for them to deliver it to my address, I had to pay that $25. They initially first reached out to me on 517. So it's been a little over a month now since we initially did the exchange. We communicated via email and they were very responsive to anything that I had questions about. I did get a shipment confirmation that listed the plants that are in here. So I do know what some of these plants are. The Fido Sanitary Certificate is in front here without showing you my address. It's packaged in here. And again, that just states basically, it just is inspected and sanitized through customs to not have any pests, anything like that. You do want to make sure that you are getting the sanitary certificate whenever you do import something. So that's what this is here. And there's a total of seven pieces and it just states that they've been inspected and all of that. So that is the certificate here. It has the delivery address, paperwork, and I think that is, yeah, that is everything. It went through the Atlanta Inspection Center. So this, I believe, is just recycled cardboard um, and it's packaged super well. Normally it's packaged in like, they flatten out the plants, it's pack packaged in paper, and the root ball is usually wrapped in um, a type of tissue, at least that's how it was with the previous import I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in here and <laughs> show you guys the plants. I'm sure that's what you're most excited about. I am gonna do a follow-up video on these plants. So if you are curious on how to rehab imports and what I go through, I did do this last summer. So I have an import playlist where I will include this video and subsequent videos that I do on these plants in that playlist. So make sure that you give me a follow down below if you're not following me so that you can be notified whenever I do an update on these plants. I thought the whole rehabbing process is probably one of my favorite things. I loved seeing the plants growing back, you know, like growing roots, growing new leaves, just everything. I just really enjoyed that whole entire process. Okay, so there is a little peek at what is inside. Okay, I already see, oh, I already see a leaf of some sort sticking out there in the front, right there. Yeah, so just a little bit of polyfill in the box and just the paper. This is all of our goodies right here, yay. Let me bend this back a little bit 
so you guys can see me doing the unboxing. So they do have the name that is written on the um, little tissue thing. And then the root ball is wrapped in saran wrap with moss. Plant number one, we have a jade satin variegated. So that is a syndapsis. I have a jade satin, but I don't have a variegated jade satin. So I'm really curious to see what this is or how it's gonna look, you know? I love my variegated plants. Ooh. All righty, we do have a little bit of yellowing which is to be expected because they did travel a long way and you know they're going to go through a bit of shock and you can see the root ball there as well so i feel like it has some good color especially that leaf there in the front has some good variegation i love syndapsis jade satin so that's cool to have a variegated one and it looks like i have several different nodes here. I'm going to go ahead and just peek at the root ball in here. So a little bit of rot on the roots there which is totally fine. It'll end up growing at new roots. A lot of these old roots will end up shedding. I can't wait to get this one growing, Ugh, especially if the variegation is beautiful. I cannot wait for that. I can't read that. I thought that was something else. That says Hoya, I believe. Ranoesis, Ranonesis. I don't know how to say that Hoya name. I don't know anything about this Hoya. It looks like it's pretty big. Look at that leaf up top. Whoa, holy moly, look at the size of this. Oh, that is a huge Hoya, holy moly. Whoa, that is so cool. I have not heard of this Hoya before. Look at those leaves. They're definitely like a waxy, like a thick leaf Hoya. It is a very long. I do see a couple mealy bugs on that leaf. Right here, you see those white dots? Those are mealies. That's interesting. I can easily kill those with alcohol and a Q-tip. I don't see any other mealy bugs. It's interesting that it has mealies on that top leaf. Let's see what the root system looks like. Hmm. Looks like this Hoya has very fine roots, you can see. It's got a ton of roots though. We'll keep him separate because I don't want that mealy bug to go anywhere. Looks like just two side by side. I am super impressed though. Like it's very green. It looks very healthy. That is a huge, huge Hoya. I'll have to look that one up because I don't know anything about that Hoya. I don't know like what the flower looks like or anything. It's a massive leaf. All right, next up, Adansonii aria variegated. Monstera. So I have a Monstera Adansonii. I have the variegated one, but this is the Aria. I do not have an Aria.
I'm inspecting for mealies now. Like, I don't want any more mealies to pop up. That is very, very cute. It's one long vine. And it looks like we have some yellowing on a couple of the bottom leaves. And the variegation looks pretty good, especially on that leaf there, that yellow variegation. I love ye yellow variegation. I don't see, oh, I see a mealy bug on this one too. Uh, oh, I see a couple mealy bugs. Um, the root ball again looks to be about the same. You can see a ton of roots in there. I'm gonna gently lay him down so I don't fling mealies everywhere. Yeah, I will hose these off in my sink really well and kill the mealies with alcohol. Like, I don't mind mealies too much and they're not potted in soil, so I'm not really worried about like eggs or anything. So I can kill the mealies that are on the plant leaves. Oh, I didn't tell you what this one was. This is a, I believe another Hoya. Again, I'm not familiar with this one. This is a Hoya undulata, undulata red. Hoya undulata red. It feels like another big Hoya. Whoa, that are some cool leaves. Ugh. That is cool. These Hoyas are impressive. That is a cool leaf shape. It looks interesting. Look how uh, dark red the back of the leaves are. That is cool. I guess that's what I'm trying to look out for now is mealies. I don't see any on this one. I'll have to inspect it really good though. That is huge. <laughs> Such a big Hoya. I don't know where I'm gonna put all these huge Hoyas. I was not expecting Hoyas to be this huge. All right, again, very thin, fine roots all in there. And this one has some like fuzzy aerial roots all on that stem too. That is a cool Hoya. All right, we have three left, I think, yes, three left. So we open two Hoya, a Monstera, and a Syndopsis. Next up is Marmorida Variegated Monstera. I think that's the name for the Monstera Aria, I think. Yes. Ooh. I see lots of green. Ah, oh, cool. Look at how pretty that leaf is there. That is beautiful. I think this has some type of scale bug. There's little dots on the back of that leaf. It's gonna be really hard to see. Like right here, there's little black dots. Cause when I squish it with my finger, it like comes off. I think it's a scale bug. There's some on the back of that leaf too. That actually looks like thrip damage to me. That browning on that leaf. Do you see it right here? 
because I know what thrip damage looks like on Monstera because a lot of my Monsteras had thrips over the summer. I probably shouldn't be opening these in my plant room now. I'll be doing a lot of sanitizing on these plants. I don't see any active thrips. Well, that's definitely old thrip damage because I just know what it looks like. All right, so this one's got some scale. And I can see the roots are okay in here without opening it up. You can see all the roots in there just so that I don't make a mess. Not really happy about the pest issues. I mean, it's fine, like scale, I can clean it. Mealies, I can clean it. Like it's not a, that big of a deal. Cause again, they're not like potted into soil. I'm just gonna have to do a really thorough job at cleaning these now. All right, two left. This one is another huge Hoya, Macrophylla Red. These Hoyas are humongous. I feel like I can't enjoy the opening now because I'm worried about bugs. You guys know how I am with pests. That is a beautiful color, especially if you love sun stressing. Look at that. I'm not seeing anything initially. So I think we're good on pest on this one. And another same root ball as the other Hoyas. That one there. Okay, last one is a P. tortum, philodendron tortum. I do not have a philodendron tortum. It seems kind of small. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is so cool. You know, I've never seen a philodendron tortum in person before. It was on my wish list. Uh, if I ever came across one, I would be tempted to buy one, but I just never have seen one in person. That is cool. Look at those leaves. I must say that is a pretty cool plant leaf. Like that leaf there, that is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to have one now. I would say overall, like the condition of the plants are phenomenal. Like there is some yellowing, which is to be expected, but for the most part, all the plants are like green and healthy. Like they have a decent root system. My, the only concern is Two of them have mealies and one of them has some scale. Which is fine, like I'll, I'll treat the pests. They're very easy to treat. It's not a big deal to me. I would say when importing, just be cautious. When unboxing, just do a thorough pest check. There's the root system on that one. A little bit of rot going on, but overall, Looks decent. There might be a little bit of stem rot right here on this one though. I think it'll be okay. That is so cool. So we have our Tortum, our Macrophylla Red, our Monstera Aria, the Undulata, Undulata Hoya Red, we have the Aria Monstera, the other Hoya that I don't know how to pronounce, and then the Syndapsis Jade Satin Variegata. So overall, I am very impressed with the plants, the size, 
just everything, I feel like, I feel like everything came in really good condition. Again, the, the only negative I would say would be the pests that I'm finding, which they did go through a sanitary process, so it is interesting finding pests on them. But again, I can treat them, so it'll be okay. Yeah, overall, I feel like everything looks great. I, I don't feel like anything wouldn't make it. You know, they are gonna go through a bit of a shock and adjustment period. It would, it's probably gonna take them a good four to six weeks to fully acclimate to my environment here. And yeah, stay tuned for video number two. I'm gonna kind of take you through what I'm gonna do with these next. So stay tuned for that. And I will continue to update you on these. So overall, I'm very happy. And again, I will have all their information linked down below. They didn't give me any kind of code that I know of. If they do send me a code just for you guys to get a discount, I will put it on the screen. If not, then I guess there's not a code. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a little bit of a surprise with the pest, but overall I'm very happy with everything. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you down there. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again very soon.